what's up welcome back to my channel today is vlogmas day three and as you can see I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever and that is because we're going to be talking about my skincare routine is a ton of skincare routines out there on the internet right now and a big trend that's going on right now is Korean skincare. Now lots of beauty bloggers, lots of skin people have been doing the whole like 10 product skincare lines and things. I am half Korean and I did grow up using a lot of these skincare routines since I was probably around middle school, high school-ish. In middle school, I had really, really bad acne. I had bumps all over my forehead and things. I covered my face all the time because of the fact that I was really self-conscious about my skin. And for a lot of you out there, you're probably thinking, but gee, you have such good skin now. Yeah, I went through puberty just like everybody else. And then as an adult, I found out that I didn't have adult acne, which some adults do have, so. My suggestion if you're struggling with acne right now and you're in this middle school, high school phase, take a look at your parents and see what kind of skin they have because more than likely that's the kind of skin you're going to end up with. But I was really lucky and really blessed to have really good skin, however, once a month during that time of the month I have little breakouts that happen just throughout my skin. So I do still get some acne, but mo for the most part my skin's doing really well. So I want to show you guys my skincare routine and what I do to keep my skin looking really great so that way I don't have to wear makeup on camera. So the very first thing that I use is this. It is a sugar scrub. This one is from the brand Tree Hut, which I've been using this one for a while. If you have very sensitive skin, I would not recommend you using this because of the fact that the texture of this is very granulated and it can scratch your skin. So if you have more mature skin or you have very sensitive skin, I would recommend going with something a little bit lighter um, that's not as granulated as this one. However, I do use this one all over my body, so for my face, my body, I just go ahead and exfoliate everything, especially when I'm in the shower. I do make sure to use something like this. Now for a cleanser that I use, I use this Shishido Pureness Deep Cleanser. This particular brand is a Korean skincare line, but it is made in Germany. Um, or it started in Germany. It's actually made in the U United States, this one is. Now I use this one instead of the regular cleansing foam because I feel like this one cleans a little bit better. During the summertime, I will just use this by itself and my skin will feel fine. But during the winter time, whenever everything is really dry, I tend to like to use this with a couple of like other like purifying essences and things to sort of give myself the moisture back that this sort of takes away. But I have semi-oily skin, I have a dry cheek area, but like my forehead, my nose, and my chin get really oily. So using something like this is a really good um, cleanser for my skin. Now for makeup remover, I really like the Sephora brand makeup remover. It's just, it's really nice, it gets all of the makeup off that I want it to get off, and it doesn't make my, feel, my skin feel oily or greasy at the end of it like some of the other cleansers do. And when I have a lot of waterproof makeup on, I like using Sephora's waterproof eye makeup remover. This does make my eye area feel a little greasy, but I really only use it for my eyes anyways, and sometimes my lips, so it really doesn't bother me too much. As you can see, this is my almost empty bottle of toner. This is Shishido's Pureness Balancing Softener. It doesn't have any alcohol in it, which is good because it doesn't dry out my skin and it, it leaves my skin feeling soft and plump and plush. The moisturizer part is a part where I don't sort of have just one that I like using. I have a multitude of different moisturizers that I got from Ipsy or from sample bags and I tend to use all of them all at once and it just depends on what day it is and how I'm feeling, what the weather's like. My favorite nighttime moisturizer is the Shishido Skincare Night Moisturizer 
Recharge. I got this as a sample for one of the uh, kits that they gave, and so I have the whole line for this particular brand. This one's supposed to be for more mature skin, um, but she gave it to me because the one that I buy is for young people's skin, and she was like, you're getting older, you should get this, and I'm just like, I'm not that old, but I don't know. So she wanted me to try out this brand, so I did, and I actually really like the nighttime cream, but it's only really good for nighttime. If I wear it during the day, I definitely can feel it on my face. Now the daytime moisturizer that I like to use is this Ladykin Snail Extract Moisturizer, and I know that sounds really gross, but it's actually really cool. Like, it doesn't feel slimy, it doesn't feel gross. It's actually pretty neat, and I actually really like this for just a daytime lightweight moisturizer. And of course, if you're not interested in getting a sort of snail-emphasized moisturizer, there are plenty of other moisturizers that I would definitely recommend. One of them being the Shishido Pureness Mattifying Moisturizer. This one's really nice because it's really soft, it makes your skin feel really great, and it doesn't feel extra greasy like I notice that a lot of moisturizers tend to do. And I also really like this Aloe Soothing Gel from Hanalee. This one's really nice for the summertime because it's extra, extra light, and I know that I sweat a lot during the summertime, so having something that's extra light that is aloe vera based is really, really awesome. And of course, once a week, I like to wear a facial mask just to sort of get, you know, a lot of the bad stuff out of my skin. So usually either on a Monday or Friday, depending on when I sort of need it the most, I will put on a facial mask just to relax. And I do use a combination of mud masks, paper masks, gel masks, like I got a whole collection of masks. My favorite is this mud mask, it's a Dead Sea mud mask. I actually purchased this off of like Wish, so you know, there's a lot of bad rep about Wish, but it's actually one of my favorite websites to get really good skincare deals when it comes to things like this, because you can also get this on Amazon. I also really like this Jorel Parker, I don't know, Fango Mud Therapy. It smells so good, and I constantly want to call it Fandango, because <laughs> it just sounds like a dance. Makes me want to do a dance. But I like putting this on my nose. And of course, I have my whole slew of paper masks that I really enjoy using. And so I'll use these about once a week. Whenever I'm feeling lazy and I don't really want to wash everything off of my face. So I'll use these. So there you guys have it. Those are my products that I like to use for my skin and my skin type. And that is what I do to sort of keep my skin looking really well. Especially during the times whenever uh, it is about that time of the month when I start getting a little bit of acne popping up This is the kind of thing that I do and it just completely saves my skin And I can definitely tell you after doing it for I don't know 10 years probably <laughs> It's a skincare that really works. It really helps get your skin back into shape It really helps doing a lot of things and I mean there's a reason why Koreans also have really good skin and that is not just genetics I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you like this type of video, please leave a comment down below so I can maybe talk more about skincare, because I am obsessed with skincare, because it is super important to have really good skin <laughs> for me personally. I like having good skin. Um, but let me know what kind of products you would like me to review, what kind of products you would like me to talk about. I'm probably going to go back to doing more Christmas stuff after this video, but this was just a really short, easy video that was hopefully very informative to you guys, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I will see you guys tomorrow, so be sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new, please hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on. I am participating in Vlogmas, in case you didn't already get that. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!